Hey, Konstantinos here. Today we are designing this U-shaped kitchen in white glossy with a black countertop. And if you want to see how it was designed from scratch with kitchen ways within a few minutes, then watch this video until the end. I will start with the first wall, which is 550, then it's 865, 430, 485, and I will close the shape of the room. Next, I'm going to add the windows and doors. We have one window that is 160 centimeters, 110 in height, and 110 from the floor. And it's 80 centimeters away from the wall. Then we have a door that is 100 centimeters in width and it's 70 centimeters away from this wall. We have one open wall that is 100 centimeters in width, 230 in height and it's 385 centimeters away from the wall on the, on the right. Finally we have a balcony door that is 230 centimeters in width, 230 in height, and it's approximately 20 centimeters away from this wall. Next, we have two fixed columns in the room. The one has a width of 60 centimeters and a 20 centimeters depth. I have to rotate it and I'm gonna place it here. And the other one has 20 cent is 20 centimeters in width and 20 in depth and I will place it right here. Next we are going with the standard height of 215 centimeters and we are going to start drawing the kitchen shape. I will add base cabinets here and here. Actually, I want to go until here. Then I'm gonna add wall cabinets on this wall. I will extend the base cabinets on this wall also and add wall cabinets above. And finally, I will place tall cabinets on this wall. Next, I will add an island that is 90 centimeters in depth and 210 centimeters in length and I will place it here. Finally we are going to add our, our appliances. I will add one sink below the window and actually I want to move the island a bit closer to the sink so I will go back click on the island and move it a bit up. Okay this is fine now gonna place again the sink, the dishwasher right next to the sink. I will add the oven, a standalone oven in the tall cabinets. We'll place it here in the middle. A hob on the island or actually let's add the hob on the cabinets. We'll place the hob here the hood right above it will place a 90 centimeters hood the fridge in the tall cabinets so i can see now there is a distance of 53 centimeters between the fridge and the oven what i want to do is go back and move the oven seven centimeters to the right so that this cabinet becomes 60 centimeters so i will go back to the oven place the oven again in the middle but this time I will press the shift key and make this distance instead of 150 I will make it into 157 like this I will click save going to add our appliances again it's very fast and easy to do and we are going to re-add the fridge and now you can see that the distance between the two is 60 centimeters. Next, we can ignore the washing machine. We'll click no thank you. And now our front views are generated. I can click the minimap to see the front views. 
I will click all the walls just so you can see. And the last thing you can do is watch the kitchen in 3D and move around. Here we have the balcony door, the open wall, and our kitchen. So now what we want to do is edit the widths of the cabinets. I guess I will start with this wall. I can go over here and see our cabinets. So the most edits will be here. I will split this cabinet and merge these two, make this into drawers. And here what I can do is merge these two. Let's see what we can do here. So actually I will make this into a 60 centimeters cabinet, split this into a 30 and 45. So I can merge these two. And now it looks symmetrical and it's also symmetrical with the cabinets above. I will go over to the tall cabinets and see if I can make any changes. I think I will leave this like this for now. I want to edit the cabinets on the island also. So I will go over to this section, click yes. I uh, will go on the opposite view and I want to add some drawers on this island. I can merge these two and let's also merge this one, split these two and these two and let's add a really big drawer here with two drawers and let's let's make something similar on the opposite side. I will make this into 160 also. We'll split these two, merge these two and make this into a 90 centimeters. Let's see how it looks. We have a bug here, but the opposite side looks fine. So what I will do now is change the color of the cabinets. I will click on any cabinet, scroll down from the sidebar. I will go over to the glossy surfaces and check the white color. I will apply it to all the cabinets. We can see the room here. And what I want to do is customize the colors of the countertop by clicking the customize colors button. I will change the countertop to black. Now it looks a bit better. I'm gonna take a screenshot of our kitchen. Okay, we can take one from here and also from the other side, maybe from this side. All right, this is better. And here we have the two screenshots. This is the one and this is the other one. And also what I can do is download a 2D plan in PDF with all measurements included. This plan has all my views with all the measurements included. And finally, the last thing you want to do is get a quote by clicking the get a quote button from the sidebar. This will open this page where you can select your project, your name, your city, and make sure to select your city from the dropdown, add a message, and after you send this code request, you will be connected with cabinet makers in your city and you can chat with them and receive a quote for your cabinet, for your design that you have created with KitchenWiz. Also, the cabinet makers will be able to edit your design. So if you are not very sure about your design, let the cabinet maker make the necessary changes to your kitchen design. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then click the like button below and also subscribe to our YouTube channel.